Canera as he enters the ring here at the Madison Square Garden Bowl in Long Island City, New York. And the challenger, Max Bear from Omaha, Nebraska. They like him here in New York with that playboy lifestyle he has. And he too likes it here in New York. Battle of the American fighter against the big Italian. about set to go for the World Heavyweight Championship. Referee Arthur Donovan calls the two combatants to the center of the ring. Final instructions. We'll see if we can hear what he's saying. Arthur lets them know that he wants it to go his way, that he's in control. And with these two big heavyweights, those are good instructions. He wants clean breaks, and he wants a clean fight. Now we're just about set to go for the World Heavyweight Championship. 15 rounds of schedule four. Primo Canera, three and a half inches taller, 53 pounds heavier, and a couple of years older than Max Bear. Here we go, round one. Bear to the left, now to the right. Canera, the big lumbering guy. He's awkward, but since he won the title about a year ago from Boston's Jack Sharkey, he's become very popular. People want to at least see him. He's a huge man, huge fist. 263 pounds. Primo having a good look at Bear, kind of slaps with the jab, and Bear answers with a couple of punches that don't do too much to the big lumbering body of the champion. The champ looks like he's going to rely on that big thundering right hand. He He's pouring with his left jab, and it doesn't bother Bear at all. The 
big guy slap with that left. Notice the quickness of the hands of Max Bear when he does mix it up. Max one upstairs, one to the body. Neither one very damaging. Oh, he caught him that time, though. He dumped the big fella. And look at him, he's very staggery on his feet. And down he goes into the ropes of the referee. Arthur Donovan uh, went to step in, but he lets the action continue. Look at the big guy stumbling all around. That's about three knockdowns in that series. Left hand catches him, too. Another left. Max trying to keep the pressure on to win this fight right now. Oh, he catches him again. A fine ending to this very first round of the fight. Looping left, wild with the left again. Well, we'll show you the actual slow-mo here now of the knockdown. Watch the first one, he catches him right on the jaw. And down the big fella goes, but he doesn't stay down long. But notice his legs. It was a punishing punch because as you can see here in slow motion, his legs are very rubbery. And then he moves in a glancing blow with the right hand, but he's loading up that right hand that caught him by the ear and then a nice left hand and another right follows up. And the referee lets it continue. Max actually chasing the champion now. He's able to tie him up with that big tree trunk like left hand, but he's all of a sudden hit with another left hook and down he goes again. Primo not used to being treated like this. Don't forget he's 176 fight. He's only been tested six times where he's had anyone put any kind of pressure like this on him. And Max Bear having a field day in round one here in New York. Oh, look at that shot. Seems like Primo has got his senses back, though. And he survives the round. Round two. Here we go with round two, an exceptional first round for Max Bear. And look at this, it turns into a wrestling match. Max wants to take him out as quick as he can, and the big guy, as awkward as he is, just pulls him over. Trips over the leg. Primo not working off his jab. He's been slapping with it when he has used it. And we haven't seen the big right hand at all tonight. Very hard to throw it when Max Bear is keeping this kind of pressure on him. Round two for the heavyweight championship of the world. This is the first right hand thrown by Primo Canera. Huge fist has this man. They Worked on special gloves just so he could fit his hand into the boxing glove. Certainly one of the biggest heavyweight champions of all time and definitely the biggest hand of any heavyweight champion. But so far into round two, it's been mostly Max Bear, the challenger. Considerable height advantage, three and a half inches for the champion, and a considerable reach as well, but it hasn't bothered Max Bear. Closing seconds now, the second round. And now we'll show you exactly what happened. A lot of stumbling around in the early going in round two. You see he's a little bit staggery there as the thundering right hand lands to the jaw. And now he just kind of falls forward. And Max doesn't stop throwing punches as he's going down. 
Two men scramble on the canvas. Plenty of heart in the champion. Primo Canera gets up, and watch Max Bear jump on him. Looping right, catches him, pounds him behind the ear. Big guy just hanging on with his right hand and pulls him over. Look at the power of Canera. That's just brute size and strength. And in spite of the fact things aren't going his way right now, the crowd is certainly entertained by his size and strength. Round three. Here we go with round three. They've told Primo in his corner to try and throw more punches. This is the best that Primo has looked so far, trying to keep the challenger off of the left jab. Round one and two, all for Bear. Primo having his best round. Left hook gets through the head. Right hand inside, but Bear able to tie him up. Good movement by Bear when he's not throwing punches. He's backing away or circling to his left. That makes it more awkward for the big lumbering champion, Primo Canero. That time it was a slip. Closing seconds of the third, a good round for the champion. Round seven. And here we go, the heavyweight championship of the world. In the early going, it was all Max Bear. Now Primo Canera seems to be coming on a bit here. The challenger had the champion on the canvas three times in the first round and a couple more times in the second round as they rolled around and it was more of a wrestling match. Now it's a boxing match again. Champion warned for back slapping Max Bear. Referee Arthur Donovan made it clear from the opening bell that he is in command here. Much more authoritative punches by the champion now. Big Primo Canera. A freak show to many, but in this fight he looks pretty good to this point with the exception of the early fight knockdown. This may be the best round of the fight for Primo Canera. Bear seems to be taking round seven off. Closing action now of the seventh round. And we pick up action here in the eighth round. Primo with the same style since round three, just plods after Max Bear. Big guy trying to keep pressure on the faster hands with the challenger. Bear 
likes to taunt the big guy. Talks to him a lot. See the mouth going. Primo speaks in broken English, so you wonder what he can absorb from the challenger. And right now he's giving the challenger all he wants. Max Big sort of laughs at him and then whacks him behind the head with that right hand. These shots are taking a toll. Notice the knees of Primo Canera. A little bit loose in the knees. Primo trying to keep the pressure. You see that little stumble? The big guy showing his clumsy style falls down again. Closing seconds of the eighth round. Championship on the line. That was a better round eight for the challenger Max Bear. Bear, two years younger, 53 pounds lighter, and three and a half inches shorter than the big lumbering world champion Primo Canera. Bear earned this title shot by knocking out Max Schmeling about a year ago. And while he has the reputation of being a bit of a playboy, he's trained hard for this one. You can tell at the stage in the fight. Making Primo chase him. Blocks a couple of the punches. job on the positioning by Max Berry keeps his body and his head away from those long punches of Primo so he doesn't get the full brunt of them too often and as I say that Primo lands three nice jabs closing seconds of the ninth and this is a better Canero round Primo Canero had a good three and four. Five and six kind of up for grabs. Canero took the seventh. Eight might have been even. Slightly in favor of Max Bear. And the ninth round was the champion. Here we are in round ten. You see the rosin on the left hip of the champion. He's been rolling all over the canvas at different stages in the fight. And now we've got a real war going on in the corner. You wonder if that right hand glove fits the champion with that huge fist properly. You notice an awful lot of times he stretches the hand out. You can get no punching power with your right hand when your hand is open. Bear looking for the opportunity to plant the back foot and drive off it and land a big right hand. As Primo jabs, he drops the left hand quite frequently. Bear knows it. Notice the way Bear keeps the chin tucked when he goes in. Oh, the right hand catches the big guy by the ear. And he finally goes down, hangs onto the rope. Up 
Papa Donovan asks him if he's okay. And Bear really puts the pressure on as he crumbles to the canvas for the second time. This looks like uh, round number one and two, the way Max Bear is keeping the pressure on the champion. He's down for the third time. Plenty of heart being shown by the champion, just hanging in there. Arthur Donovan takes a good look at him as the bell ends the 10th round. Round 11. Let's see if Primo Canero, the world champion, can recover from the beating he took in the 10th round. Or will we have a new champion tonight? The crowd here in Long Island City, New York, Love seeing the American fighter handle the big Italian. Oh, down goes the champion again. And now Max Bear is beginning to take real control of this fight. Big thundering right hand as that left continues to hang by the six foot six inch Primo Canera, the six foot two and a half inch Max Bear able to get through that left hand and nail him with right. Primo showing us that he has tremendous heart. He's been down several times and taken them heavier blows of the night. You wonder just how much more punishment the big fella can take from Max Bear. However, he is the reigning champion. Referee Arthur Donovan taking a look into the eyes of big Primo Canera. Oh, big hit that time. Another big shot to the head. And down he goes again. We may have a change in the world title tonight. Big right hand gets through. And Arthur Donovan may be stopping the fight. I think he has. We have a new world champion. Now we take a look at this slow-mo and we'll see exactly what happened. The right hand grazed the big guy up at the top of the temporal bone to the left side, and he went down. At this stage, the referee is trying to look into those eyes. You notice the legs. Primo not quite sure where he is right now. The hands down, and you notice very awkwardly trying to defend himself. It's clipped behind the ear again, although it's light. Arthur Donovan at this stage has seen just about all he needs to. You see the legs buckle there? And now Arthur says, no, the legs are gone, and he gets hit again, and he makes up his mind that that's all. We have a brand new champion. Here's the ring announcer now for the official timing and the announcement of the new world heavyweight champion. Time! Two minutes, 16 seconds, the 11th round, the winner, new champion, Max Bear! <laughs> <laughs> 